Today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Well, today we are at the Shillington Goodwill. It's a massive, massive Goodwill. We've been here a few times before. Um, we're here with Dagny, and we're gonna head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. That is an interesting looking piece. It's really ceramic. Um, I'm gonna turn off the camera and see if I can't get a peek at the bottom, but first I'm gonna grab this. Because that looks like it's Either Viking or Ellie Smith. Wouldn't it be nice if we could find another one? Um, but now let's turn this over and see what it says. The marking might actually be on the bottom of the terrain, and I don't feel comfortable undoing all the tape on that because they might get separated. So we're going to leave it. Oh, those are, those have kind of an interesting look to them. Um, oh no, they're kind of fun. Two ninety nine. I don't see any wear to the um, stain, so I don't believe they are stained. And they kind of remind me of glass from Finland. So for two ninety nine, I'll give them a shot. Hopefully, they're not like a Dollar General special or anything like that. Looks kind of like a vintage piece, but I don't think it is. I'll figure. I'll turn it over just to check. One ninety nine. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I mean, the discoloration is kind of telling me that maybe it's vintage. Mm. I, I can't make up my mind about the Christmas stuff. <laughs> do I want it? Do I not want it? Um, that might look nice on our front door, so I'll grab that. That is a very, very sweet piece. Unfortunately, it is damaged. Just the delicacy of the flowers and everything else. And it's interesting because it's, it's almost made so that you can grip it like that. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Looks like it could be vintage. I don't know. I'm gonna pull that down and take a look at it. It's made in China. It's kind of giving me mixed vibes. Like, I think it's almost made to look vintage, but you see how bright it is there. I don't think that it is actually vintage, so I'm gonna stick it back up here on the shelf. I think that's a cool little toggle there. I just noticed this lamp here. That's right, I'm looking at lamps. Look at me. I can't find a place to put this safely, though. There we go. That'll work. Um, this lamp is really neat looking. It's vintage. It has a vintage cord on it. Um, $3.99. I think it is ceramic. It's like a gold ceramic, but I love the feet on it. I think it's really neat. It's only $3.99. Um, I thought at first it was metal, but it is ceramic, and the ceramic is in good condition. It's a neat little lamp, so we will take that with us. This is what happens when you have a girl and boy bunny, <laughs> and then two days later, I hear this. A bag of rabbits. <laughs> I thought that was funny. It's it's a souvenir, but I think oh, that's funny. I like it. <laughs> Where are my glasses? You need to help me find the other one of these. Oh, okay. It's a scavenger hunt. Right. I have seen this before, and I can't remember who makes it. I don't believe it's a hobbyist piece, um, but I can't think of it. Or maybe I, I'm just, I don't know, maybe... It reminds me of something, and it is a hobbyist piece, but, uh, price? I don't see a price on it. Maybe there's more pieces. Maybe this is um, part of a Lazy Susan set. I'll stick it in my cart and see if we come across any more pieces. Well, the last time I saw one of these pieces, I left it behind, and a lot of my viewers let me know that there was actually value there, so I took a moment this time to look it up, and, um, it sells for, like... This style, those are all different styles. This style sells for about um, $37. So I think I will take that with me. That looks like it matches a piece that Dagny has in her cart. I'm going to see. Dagny, yeah. is this a matchy matchy to what you have in your cart? Oh, it's, it's metal, but it's not the same. Oh, okay. Minor flowers. Here's her flowers. Hi, yeah. yeah. It is true. I mean, it's kind of nice. Yes. I like that. This looks like Goofus glass. Ah, oh, there we go. It is Goofus glass. It's extremely heavy, though. Usually, I find that Goofus glass is um, thin and light. This is heavy. And it's got pears, and um, I don't know what those are. 
They look kind of like they want to be maybe pomegranates or apples. I don't know. It's $3.99. I don't typically pick up Goofus glass, but this one is interesting. It's curious to me. I know there's some critics when I use that word, but it's curious to me because uh, it's heavy and thick and the, the paint is really nice. Hmm. So I'm going to make an exception to picking up the Goofus glass. Oh, look how pretty it looks next to those gold lamps. See, we're, we're putting together a, a Hollywood Regency vibe here in the cart, minus the volcano and the folk art. I mean, other than that, we've got it going on. Oh, she's pretty. What does that say on the bottom? Does that say $100? I don't think so. I think it says $10 for the little head. Hmm. I wonder if she has the rest of her body. Oh, she does have the rest of her body parts. I'm gonna pull it out and see. All right, well, she has all of her body parts. She's got her arms and her legs in there and they seem to be in good condition. Um, she just needs a body and I think a lot of people use these pieces to actually make dolls of their own. So oh, they've got $2.99 on it. Um, I'll take that. I, I think it's vintage and as for being antique, I'm not sure, but definitely at least rates as vintage. It's $1.99. It doesn't match. Yeah, it's kind of matchy-matchy. I like the florals on it. Let's see if this is matchy-matchy with Dagny's. Um, this is the same company, De Her, Long Island, New York. Um, that's a pretty one. I don't think I've seen that pattern before. Of course, I don't use and deal with a lot of tins, but um, buck ninety-nine. We'll add that to our our collection of things. This is just a little tote. I don't think it's actually a purse. It kind of reminds me of a, a rug. Um, it's kind of woven, circularly woven. <laughs> and uh, I, I kind of like that. But um, other than that, I'm not really seeing much. That's a fun felted purse. Well, I think that's it for us. All right. It's about to walk away, and then I noticed the tag right here. It is Laura Birch. It's a doggy purse. Laura Birch doggy purse. All right, we'll take that with us. All right, well our total spend there was eighty one dollars. Um, I feel like that's the best we've ever done at this Goodwill. It's usually been eh, kind of touch and go, um, but today was a good day. I'm excited about those lamps fabric is amazing. It would make a, a really cool coverlet for a bed, a vintage bed. Um, we just got some really good stuff today and I'm pleased with everything we got. We're going to get out of here now. I've got an hour and 45 minute drive home, so <laughs> I'm going to get on the road, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.